most things on social media are bits of information given to us that allows us to have a skewed and linear view of something. And however, that's all it takes for us to make up our mind about something. Let's take the newest trend on how bad peanuts are, for example. The issue is aflatoxin, which is related to the fungal growth on the nut. Now, on a linear paradigm, that sounds reasonable, it sounds logical, and it's easy to accept that if peanuts have mould growth on them, and if mould is bad for us, then peanuts are bad. How about if I told you all nuts, not just peanuts, have exposure of aflatoxin one way or another? The risk of aflatoxin accumulation is influenced by factors such as harvesting and storage and the environment in which the nuts are dried in. So it's not the fault of the peanut in its core. It's the actual processing of the nut that affects its susceptibility to mould. So kind of like if you store your grains at home improperly and they're exposed to warm humid air, say in the pantry with poor ventilation, then they too can absorb moisture and as a result, create the ideal environment for mould growth. So this is an extremely important reminder for us to stop taking things on a linear front being more holistic about the things that we read on the internet, allowing a very objective intellectual perspective on the piece of information that is given to us rather than absorbing and regurgitating everything that we read online.